It's so sad in here. He's so sad in here. Oh, now he's not sad. Good morning. Good morning. Are you ready to get out of bed? <laughs> Look at him. He's already been up this morning and that was his morning nap. But look at this cute shirt I put on him. Daddy's great catch. Yes you are. Yes you are. What do you want to tell us this morning, Talmadge? Do you say I'm four months old now? Yay! I'm getting so big. <laughs> He's like, Dad, get that camera out of my face. I'm still waking up. You know, one thing that I didn't really expect when we had Talmadge was that you'd wake up in the mornings and he pees right through his diaper and through his clothes and on the bed. Ooh. You know, it's not because like we don't change his diaper or anything. It's just in the night, he pees in it. And we probably need to get him bigger diapers, but ooh, ew. Yeah, he's a little shy. I have so much energy this morning. Um, I saw that there is a bachata dance class where you can go learn for free and then dance bachata and I've been wanting to do that for a long time because on my mission I listened to a lot of bachata in the Dominican Republic and I told Jana about it and she's been wanting to do dance classes for a long time so we're pretty excited. Maybe we'll show you our dance moves. Will you show us your dance moves? You guys look how cute that- oh he's done. Oh there he goes! Time to party. We are professionals. <laughs> <laughs> we clearly need some dance lessons from like Mike and Ashley, you know, since she was on Dance with the Stars or April and Davey or Ginger and Carl because I don't know what I'm doing as you just saw. Just prance around the kitchen looking like a... I don't know what. Cool. Looking like a fool. We changed him from Daddy's Catch to Mommy's Little Monster. Ha ha. Your Mommy's Little Monster, huh? Smile if you are. Smile if you're Mommy's Monster. Smile! Oh, you are! Now that we're back from our two week vacation, it is time to get serious about things. And Brian and I have decided that it's time to start eating healthier because we've been eating out a lot. It's never too good. And we are going to um, try and work out like four times a week at least. Even if it's for only 10 minutes, we're gonna try to work out so that we just feel better. It's not necessarily about losing weight, it's more just about feeling better. Because when you um, feel good, I feel like you're more productive. All right, we're just sitting down eating lunch and Talmadge is about to have his first applesauce. Okay. It's actually homemade applesauce by Talmadge's granny. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> oh that's so nummy, huh? <laughs> he we sat down and he about ripped my grilled cheese sandwiches right off the table, so you can have some apples. No, no hands. Here. <laughs> He's like, just let me drink the whole jar, please. Huh. I have a question for you guys. So I made grilled cheese sandwiches, and um, I like to eat ketchup with my sandwiches, my grilled Ew. cheese sandwiches. It's actually not that good. But Brayden likes to eat applesauce with his grilled cheese sandwiches. I think that's pretty weird. His whole family does it. I don't there are so many people why. that do it. <laughs> I know you guys do it. Fess up, don't lie. Okay, so if you eat applesauce on your... If well, you just eat, not on it, just with it. Let us know, like know side. Let us know in the comments if you eat applesauce or ketchup with your grilled cheese sandwiches, right? <laughs> or whatever weird thing you eat. So, if you know Brayden and I, you know that we love a good yard sale. So, we just saw that there's a yard sale today, and we asked Megan to watch Talmadge, and we're no, like... it's not just a yard sale. It's an estate sale, sorry. Yeah. It's like yard sale heaven. Yeah, so I went, so I didn't even do my hair, because Brayden's like, we gotta go right now. So I was like, alright, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> 
it. We're robbing our own bank right now. Well, we gotta get some cash for the estate sale in case yes. we buy stuff. In case we buy the whole house. Come on, money. That is a beautiful sight. Just junk everywhere. That means it's a good sale. Yes. Love it. This is what I love. Just junk everywhere. Just look everywhere. Tools and just stuff That's up to you. everywhere. I love digging through this. What'd you find? These are so pretty. Yeah, they are. Like the gold frame. That is beautiful. I don't know where I put it, but I really want it. <laughs> you want this one more? Yeah. I almost like that gold one better. It's just so they're the exact kind. That one's just bigger than me. I guess we'll see. Okay guys, we are back home now and we got such a good deal. I'm gonna show you everything we got. Okay, so we got these two gold frames. They're really pretty. Jenna and I really like gold. Um, so those are awesome. Got some brand new biking gloves and I don't know, some decorations, some kitchen stuff, a bunch of It Works stuff. All this is brand new, never been used. Some of those space bags so we can store away a bunch of Talmadge's old clothes and just vacuum seal it. Some curtains and a curtain rod for our bedroom. Some more kitchen stuff. A bunch of like, like really cool artwork that I guess someone never sold at their art booth. Um, some decorations, some weights. Jana's gonna work out with those. A wreath. It's just crazy, and then a ton of tools. I literally just went through the tool section in this house because it's an estate sale and just got all the tools I ever thought I would need, and that was awesome. And so we had all this stuff. Look at it, it spread all out all over our living room. Guess how much we paid for all of that? I was kind of worried it was gonna be expensive, but we just said, okay, let's get what we want, throw it in a pile, and then we can talk price with the people. $26. <laughs> I about passed out when she said $26. I just took it all and we said great here's your money and she didn't even care because she just wanted to get rid of it. But oh my gosh we looked up just like the It Works stuff. It's worth $650. So love it. Fun fun. Now you see why the bit of excitement that I love about yard sales and estate sales. Just so much fun. And it's actually things we need. Well okay. Part of it's junk that we'll probably never use, but I'd say like 75% of it is good stuff that we need and use regularly. But anyways. Would you rather, and question of the day. So the would you rather comes from Maya Joseph, and she says, would you rather stay 24 hours in a car without air conditioning or go camping with bad people? I don't know how you guys come up with these, but they are really good, because I don't know what I'd do. I'd probably, Rather go camping with bad people because I hate the heat. I lived in the Dominican Republic for two years and that was hot. Um, but I like camping, so even if it was with bad people, I could still do that. And question of the day comes from Regina Villarreal. And she says, do you guys want a baby girl soon? That'd be really fun to have a baby girl um, soon. No way. Talmadge is barely four months old now. Um, no way. Probably in a year or two, but it'd be fun. What do you guys think we should name a girl if we had a girl? Comment down below. I'm interested to see because we have some names, but I want to see what you come up with. All right, guys, it is time to end the vlog. This is day number four of daily vlogging, and it has been so much fun. You just film your life. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching our crazy adventures of garage sailing, and subscribe if you haven't already. That helps us out so much. And we love you guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.